I wonder if he knows he's being possessed by his other self. Or... Or what. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose or on act or it's just happening on accident. I didn't wake you, did I? Me? Well, I just woke up too. I guess it's a little hard to relax when you're on the ground. But it feels nice to get up early in a place like this. The air is so fresh and cool. <laughs> I was thinking of going for a little walk. Would you like to <laughs> like to come with me? Oh, looks like everybody else is coming too. <laughs> well, if it isn't you two. Already awake, I see. You should be, you should be getting your rest, you know. There are many tasks. There are many tasks still in store. Good morning, Kevin Conway. I saw Moritaka awake earlier. He said he was going out for some early morning training. I am on my way to attend the staff meeting, but I thought I would warm up the hot tub a little beforehand. I thought it, well, I thought it would warm up in the hot tub a little beforehand. <laughs> I feel wide awake too, so I decided to join Master Kim and Conway for an early morning dip. Hmph. <laughs> Are you bathing too, Aizen? I was assigned to be on hot tub duty. I will fulfill my responsibilities regardless of the time. So don't you forget that I'll be watching your every last move. Ensuring your well-being. Got it. After all, it is also my duty to surveil the happenings of this event! <sighs> it feels nice to have everyone here. Oh, I almost had Shiro alone. Am I imagining things, or am I sensing a hit of perversion in the air? Hmm? Why are you looking at me? Why? You're coming too, right? The more the merrier. Yeah, that's all. Uh... Hmm. I was actually about to go for a walk. Huh? Oh, y you don't have to worry about me. You should head to the hot tub and warm up. So you're coming? Great! <laughs> How precious. He seems to be quite fond of you, Brandon. Oh, I should also prepare breakfast for everyone. You go enjoy the tub, okay? Good. Now, whoever wishes to dip in the tub, please follow me. <laughs> oh, jeez. What the hell? Wait. It should not be going to this mic. Though, this isn't the first time for some. Allow me to explain the properties of this hot spring once more. This sulfate hot spring contains minerals such as sodium, calcium, and magnesium. These contain beneficial properties that aid in healing wounds like cuts, bruises, and burns. It is advised that you soak well. I appreciate your consideration. You can adjust the pool's depth for soaking just your feet or your whole body. I'm sure you can come to a decision together. Yeah. Lastly, you may be getting hot and steamy in the tub, but I won't allow you to get hot and steamy with each other! Understood? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sheesh. Don't you forget, you are under my surveillance! I know we have a truce, but that does, but that does not mean you can get away with perversions! I wasn't gonna get perverted with these guys anyway. I mean, there's people involved. There's a child here, you know. Are uh, you not getting in with us, Eisen? I must tend to my duties. You can enjoy the hot tub without me. 
I suppose that would be all right, I guess. If that is his decision, it is not our place to say otherwise. Come now, Kagatsuchi. Let us go. What? Me... For the sake of the fact that there is a middle school kid with us, put back. I was hoping to have a nice foot bath. Makes me feel so luxurious. Ow! <sighs> no need to rush. Gently dip your feet in. The heat will naturally flow from your feet to the rest of your body. Right. I'll be more careful. Ah, this feels great. Oh, that's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> the cool. The cool air really bounces well with the hot water. Oh, looks like we have a visitor. Good morning. You were all up surprisingly early. You're up early too. I saw the steam rising in the air, so I decided to come check it out. Hope I'm not imposing. I figured it'd be a good idea to warm up before the morning staff meeting. It seems that we think alike, Choji. Don't be shy. Come on in and heal your body and mind. Thanks. Your hot tub is the only one available, since apparently it's too early to get up for the other teams, including my own. By the way, thanks for the curry last night, Kagatsuchi. It was really great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really learned a lot in making the curry last night. Plus, it seemed like Mr. Zambani had also took to it well. And were you able to gain any clarity about your personal struggles? When I was watching the fire under the curry pot, I felt like I was watching my inner flames as well. I remembered what you and Mr. Zambania both told me. And in that moment, I felt like I completely understood your words. It seems that you you were tasked. It seems that the task you were charged with allowed you to see yourself from a new perspective. It truly has. I look forward to seeing how everyone regulates their flames. Watching Choji cook after I finished my own curry had me thinking. I understand now that like Choji and Mr. Zabania, everyone has their own unique relationships with their inner fire. So I see that. My relationship with my fire is also unique, and with it, I have to master my own special approach. I can, I can find my own way, just like Choji and Mr. Zavania. Oh wow, that's so flattering! <laughs> Thank you. Still, I'm not over my fear of flames, so I may try to contain it by force. But seeing that none of you are afraid of me and my flames reassures me that I can overcome that fear. I've learned all of this from everyone here, so I want to thank you again for your guidance and encouragement. <laughs> Good on you, Kagatsuchi. Oh. Uh. Oh, jeez. Kagatsuchi, you're turning red hot and the water's starting to boil! Everyone get out of the tub before we're cooked into a tra transient stew! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it again. <sighs> Don't worry, Kagatsuchi. We can get in again once the water has cooled down a bit. This fresh air morning feels so good. You're so kind! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good team. You really got lucky, Kim and Kamui. Well, it's about time I return to my own team. I need to get ready before the meeting and whatnot. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to censor that. Raise your arm, Kagatsuchi. Allow me to bestow you with one of nature's blessings. 
Wait, what? Are we? Is that so? <laughs> well, that's great. Hmm. hmm. There is no doubt that display of true devotion between a student and teacher. This must be one aspect of the love those missionaries speak of. However, I cannot agree with that. Hmm? Ah, it's you. What's with the grave look? I see. Well, now. Hmm? So this is Shiro's episode. I'm gonna have to censor that one. I mean, it's the... I mean, it's tame? It's just... I don't know. I mean, they're covered? It's just... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, they're, co like, they're covered up. Like, the important parts are covered up. It's just... I don't know. I didn't expect it to play out that way. I'm being honest. Because this is my first... I mean, it's my first time playing. It's pro it's one of the main problems I have with this game. <laughs> well, that was an eventful morning dip. But now the sun is shining and the other teams are starting to make their moves. Hmm. Are you okay? I'm fine. Let us have our breakfast. As you surely heard as you surely heard earlier, our team leader is preparing our breakfast for us. to try Shiro's cooking. My stomach's already grumbling. Good morning, everyone. It appears our team is complete once again. And just in time, too. Ah, welcome back, Moritaka. I just finished the rice and was about to begin preparing the rest of breakfast. Oh, I smell curry. Did we get to have last night's curry for breakfast? But wait, I don't think there was enough enough for everyone. Don't you worry. I have something in mind. I'm going to use the leftovers to make something new this morning. Our team leader is working on a task I assigned him a little earlier. Not one morsel of food we've been this filled with can be wasted. Do you think you'll be successful? No problem. I'm sure there won't be an ounce left. What should I do? There isn't much helping to do. Actually, I have. I just have to reheat the curry. And you want me to mix in this cheese with the rice, right? Yes, then you can start serving the rice. Make sure you get every last scrape. Finally, finally, make a little hole for a soft boiled eggs. Voila! Kagatsuchi's curry part two! Except it's more like curry risotto. Or with soft boiled eggs. Oh, this, the rice does look nice and creamy. Cooking pots barely look like they've been used at all. Don't forget, there's instant soup and fruit too. Let's dig in before it all gets cold. Sounds like a huge breakfast. I'm not used to eating big breakfast. Woohoo! Let's eat. Oh wow, the cheese and soft boiled egg make this a lot milder than last night's curry. So satisfyingly filling! I like this version! Thanks, Shiro! I saw that you and Aizen had a little trouble with last night's spiciness. I'm glad that you like it. I considered adding flour to bake a kind of cheese pe cheesy pilaf, but this is good enough, right? Definitely! This is delicious, Shiro! No meal is left unfinished in the dorm, so this is a new experience for me. Hey, no! Your scarf is not a napkin! Oh, here. Don't move. Stop! You're going to- Ah! See, you got curry all over my face! 
You sure are no match for rambunctious devils. Hmm. I'm going to leave everything to you for the moment, team leader. It's about time I head to that morning meeting. Sure thing. I can take care of everything here. I'm glad this team's in the hands of someone as responsible as you, Shiro. I'll be back soon. I'll be attending the meeting as well. I've been summoned to represent the Tycoons. Okay, I'll take charge of cleaning the pots then. We barely left a trace of food, so it only take a, so it should only take a second. Wait, Kagatsuchi, we're not supposed to... Wow, he's so fast. Excuse me, Kagatsuchi. Whoa! At this event, we all ask all participants to refrain from washing dirty dishes in the river. I can take these pots from you. We're not allowed to wash dishes here? That's correct. We want to prevent polluting the area. If you wash their dishes here, where would the dirty water go? I mean, it's food stuff, though. Would that really pollute the water? I'm just, I'm asking to be curious, would that really pollute river? Pollute the river? I mean, it's not like... I mean, it's not like, um... It's not like you're dumping... I mean, unless there's like, I guess unless there's like oil or something in the pots? Maybe? I can see that polluting, but I don't know. Would that really pollute the river? Yeah. No, there are camps. No, there are camps I said about this. We have collectively decided it would be best to gather all the dirty dishes to be washed after we return home. Please place any dishes that need washing in this bag here. The staff will clean them, clean and return them to you later. Really? You mean someone else will be cleaning up after a mess? That makes me feel a little bad. But I guess there's nothing I can do. The rules are rules, so here you go. Why, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you, to see you've cheered up since yesterday. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> thank you for everything, Maria. Good morning. I want to thank you for your assistance with the incident that occurred last night. Uh, aren't you supposed to be in a meeting? Is there something wrong? Were you able to gather any more details about the attack and the assailant? Yes. First, I'd like to explain why we couldn't rush to your aid last night. You see, several, of <clears throat> several incidents with rampaging servant attempts were happening all over the camp during Kagatsuchi's attack. At the same time? That sounds like... Yes, they all seem to be distractions organized by one named Wen Kamui. Yeah. Oh, oh food. Oh, I am... Uh... I'll pause. I'm back. Where was I? Yes, they seem to be distractions organized by the one named Wen Kamui. To keep us staff members away from coming to your aid. We suspect that Kim and Kamui is somehow involved. He's being questioned as we speak. Uh, no way. You're questioning Kim and Kamui? But unfortunately, because his appearance is identical to that of the culprit, and since he has no alibi, we have no choice. Furthermore, he claims to have a lapse in his memory. Memory lapse. That's correct. He says he suddenly came to sitting by the fire with fried eggs made for dinner and finished finished before him. Hmm. <clears throat> My apologies, Maria. But if you would allow me to explain from there. Can we call me? Arslan's here too. And Azazel? There is something that I must tell everyone. 
Shiro, would you please gather the rest of the tea? Yes, at once. Everyone should already be done packing up. I appreciate it. <laughs> Maria, you are in the middle of the collecting the dirty dishes, no? Please continue to make your rounds. Understood. See you later, everyone. It is as I fear. Mm. Oh, thanks to the missionaries, I've been able to learn in detail about what transpired last night. I have no recollection of those events, yet neither do I have witness to prove my prove me inculpable. And sadly, to state that I lost my memory isn't the, isn't only a weak defense, but it may go as far as to support your suspicions. It is only natural to assume that I have been doing something somewhere during that lapse of my memory. But I have, I have digressed. I will now get to the point of the matter. Though I have no memory of this, I firmly believe that the Wind Kamui who appeared twice before you is me, although transformed. Like the sermon to, to transform. Hmm. Having already come to the same conclusion, the missionaries decided to put me under restraint. I believe their judgment to have reason. There is no telling when I may again transform into that wind calmly. That is why I wholeheartedly accept my responsibility and complied with their decision. But then... <laughs> Wait! As a third party member of this operation, allow me the opportunity to offer my own opinion. I cannot allow this case to be closed without my own testimony. I have been sent here to observe and participate in the goings on of this event as an envoy of the tycoons. To not allow me a say in this matter would strip away the significance of this entire student exchange program. But, but Aizen, eyewitnesses reports clearly indicate that Kim and Kamui and Wing Kamui are... Potentially one and the same. Potentially. But that is all truly all there is to this incident. Jacob? No, I cannot observe the subjects with my own eyes. I am yet to believe that Kim and Conway is in fact guilty. We've yet to witness the transformation firsthand, no? We must allow ourselves to observe the, our su suspect more closely. Then, who would be responsible for su such a task? I'll take on the responsibility. With my third eye, any further transformations won't be missed. It is my duty to watch over my teammates, after all. Huh. And those are the terms we've agreed to. I see. I will simply observe all that transpires with my third eye, and no conclusions will be drawn until I do so. That is all! Isn't there someone else close to us that has a third that also has a third eye? Hmm. I am conflicted, for I am afraid to of causing you harm. If I am to transform once again. But at the same time, I wish to continue offering you guardians and observing your personal growth. Master Kevin Conway! Yes. I want you to stay with us too. You helped me to learn the steps I need to take control of myself. There's so much more I want to learn from you. <laughs> if Kagatsuchi says so, then it, it's fine. Let's go. Just like that. <laughs> but I guess that's to be expected of you, young cub. <laughs> I expected you to say something like that. Stop being so predictable! 
as Arslan said at the opening ceremony. We're all here to challenge ourselves. I'm open to any challenge if it's an opportunity to experience personal growth. From the bottom of my heart, I am deeply grateful for all your kindness. Hmm. I'm not sure how you think of it, but somehow you seem to be natural born leader, Brandon. I really wonder if I can rally everyone's morale the same way you do. Maybe I'm not really fit for this position. Hmm. However, we cannot proceed without making any changes. We'll be adding a staff member to your team for further assistance. I too shall stand watch. Should there be any more problems, I will have the missionaries send aid. Great. Well, I assume it's okay for us to finish preparations for our next departure. Yes, do go on with your preparations. I'll relay the decisions to the other staff members. I expect you cubs to stay on alert. Hmm. A staff member will meet you here in a few moments. Afterwards, you may make your departure for the second checkpoint. Understood. Thank you so much, Arslan. Azazel. Hmm. I'm sorry to have caused so much trouble this morning. And I'm pleased to get to, I get to continue my duties as your guidance counselor. Thank you for forg your forgiving kindness. No worries. Now that we have everything packed and ready to go, let us check our itinerary for today. We'll continue as we did yesterday, taking intermittent breaks when needed. The incline from here will increase once again. Advancing with added equipment may prove difficult at times. We're all here to support each other, so if you feel exhausted, do not hesitate to let someone know. It's still not catching on! <laughs> boom chicka boom boom! Though it's a stick kind, it's not fun. We'll probably make it by noon. That's right. We're expected to spend more time camping at the second checkpoint. The terrain for this climb is quite different from the one prior. We'll be passing through forests and streams abound with stones. We'll be knee deep in nature this time. There, and there will be much to do. You could say this will be the pinnacle of this jamboree event. Sounds like it will be a lot of fun, right, Divas? Who's joining us this time now? There we go, everything is packed and ready to go, but the new staff member still isn't here. You're right. Hmm, what's wrong, Devils? Maria? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, everyone. Aw, are you greeting me? Thank you, Devils. I see, so you must be our assigned staff member. That's correct. I'll be hiking with you on the way to checkpoint too. It's a pleasure to travel with all of you. May I help you with the luggage? With the stuff? Oh, Maria, don't trouble yourself. I was going to carry. I am happy to carry half the load. You'll be surprised at how much I can shoulder. Holy crap! <laughs> exactly. But, but each of those packs weighs. Ah, oh, never mind. A shared burden is indeed one cut in half, I suppose. <laughs> Please don't worry. Now, how about we get going? Sound good, Divas? <laughs> it's like she just lifts it with ease. It's like, holy crap! And we're off. To checkpoint two. Let's go, everyone. Chicka boom boom! <laughs> it's still not catching on. <laughs> Yeah, that last part with uh, everyone getting in the hot tub, not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> oh well, I'll move on. Oh dang. Wait, what? We're in the- We're in the back row! Uh, all right. <laughs> I 
There was a time when I, too, lost my own mind and body to someone else as well. It was the will of the Beyond One, Yalak Sothoth, second only to the creator of the world of the Old Ones. An all-knowing being who reigned over the entire universe and more, yet devoted every ounce of loyalty to the blind idiot god. That supreme being was a multi-dimensional existence, not bound to the laws of time and space. Watch me from within my own body. And I was unable to look away. The fear of my mind being taken over was enough for me to go insane. I learned firsthand the true meaning of terror. The most frightening aspect of it all was how unnatural and right it felt to have that identity within my body. I learned that one's autonomy is not confirmed to oneself. It can be infringed upon and appropriated by ex external forces. I used to consider my thoughts and actions to be my own. That I'd come to this point through the merits of my own will. But maybe what I am today is a result of playing the role I was given. I learned that nothing is for certain in this universe. Not even my autonomy. I began to suffer from existential dread. But in the midst of my suffering, you gave me courage. With you by my side, I knew I was no longer alone. And somewhere within myself, a feeling of certainty began to take root. So I decided that wherever you go, I go. To know you're counting on me gave me became my greatest source of happiness. But perhaps I had become greedy. I made myself believe that if I sh shouldered more of your burdens, you think of me more in return. Oh, you would come to view me in the same way that I viewed you. I wanted to carve my place into your heart. I wanted to change you. I can no longer deny that I had such crooked intentions. Hmm. Dang. <clears throat> That's rough. <laughs> that is rough. The air is nice and cool up here. Why does it get colder even though we're closer to the sun? That's kind of a false correlation. The atmosphere's density decreases as we climb. So does the amount of heat it traps. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Sort of. You should slow down, Kagatsuchi. You're going to tire yourself before we reach the checkpoint. And how many times must I remind you to stay hydrated? Here, take this bottle of water with you. great over there let's check it out <laughs> it's nice to see him in such high spirits I didn't expect him to be so jubilant be so jubilant this is all thanks to you and this team so kindly welcoming him in as the acting guild master with the missionaries I want to thank you once again <laughs> you should really thank the ones who took the initiative on welcoming him Kim and Conway and Brandon hmm Maria, would you mind if I asked you a question? Not at all, Cheryl. I'm happy to help however I can. I'm sorry if it's a difficult one, but... Why did you decide to become the missionary's acting leader? Oh! I'd like to know if there's anything that spurred your determination to take on such a demanding role. I kind of know that answer, and it is... A, it's a tearjerker, to be honest. Well, it's just that there was nobody else willing to, and... I, excuse me? What I mean is, many of our guild members tend to succumb to their wonderlust. Right, there is that vagabond, the one who keeps getting in prison, and the one who teleports. <laughs> I suppose so. 
We're a big family, so it's hard to keep everyone together. <laughs> and as seen in Kim and Kamui's questioning, not all of us are reserved or monastic. We have our share of militant members. Have I ever introduced you two to Jacob? <laughs> Together with or Arslan, he founded the parent MPO to the missionaries and is our proper guildmaster. Though blind, his martial prowess is something every member of the missionaries could swear by, and he kept the family together. Oh yeah, he is literally Tezcatlipoca's weakness. He is literally... He is literally his weakness. But as far as vagabonds go, Jacob is one as well. We were expecting him to participate in this year's Jamboree event, but he just left, disappeared. Though knowing him, I suppose there's no need to worry about his safety. Were you not intimidated? I mean, to follow in the footsteps of a leader you have all admired so deep, all admire so deeply. Do you ever doubt whether you can lead just as well? No, I never felt that way. Is that? Is that because you're confident in your own abilities? Oh, no, not at all. Quite the opposite, actually. Hmm? I know I could never replace Jacob, and, and, and that belief helped me greatly. I can only do what I can do. I can't change my own ways for the sake of someone else. I just always try to do the best that I can. I see. I know for a fact that I haven't the aptitude for leading a group of people. I'm only able to do so thanks to everyone's support. Those are the words of a true leader, Maria. Oh, I did not see you there, Kim and Kamui. Are the others doing okay? Both Kagatsuchi and Moritaka are resting right now. I've come, I've come bringing water from Aizen. Your strong will and loving tolerance is what gives your companions their motivation to follow you. You grant them courage. I've seen it with my own eyes. You are too kind, Kim and Kamui. You know I can only give you pudding in return for such praise. <laughs> Why, that's great news! I love your pudding! Um, Kim and Kamui? While you're here, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this as well. What to you defines a leader, or should I say, what is a leader to you? Oh, how the tables have turned on me. Now, I, now I'm the one being tested. Very well. Tested? No, no, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> it, I just thought that seeing how the Sermantots follow your lead, it'd be a good idea to ask you too. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So, what is a leader to me, eh? Hmm. A leader is someone who can make good use of the blessings available to them. They can take those blessings and spread them out for those under their care to enjoy. However, be it from yourself or from others, to demand what one cannot provide will only end in wasted effort. They must have gratitude for what they have access to. There is nothing more crucial than that. Hmm. Hmm. That is all I have to say on that matter. What do you think? Is it of any help to you? <laughs> is it? Thank you, Kim and Kamui. I feel like your answer has given me a lot to consider. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Shiro Motori, you are already doing good work. The efforts you make for for the well-being of others have not gone unnoticed. They are what make you a leader, Shiro. <laughs> One needs to do no more than to look at your devils to understand that truth. I'm still not doing screes. <laughs> If 
If you ever have the opportunity to meet Jacob, I recommend asking him the same question. There are times having sight blinds us to certain truths. I'm sure he has noticed things that we cannot. There's just something about him that makes one believe so. Oh no, why do you say we start hiking again? I'll go round up the... Jim and Conway? Are you alright? How we, could this be? What are you waiting for? Restrain him now! Restrain, restrain him, but leave it to me. <laughs> that was a close one. But now I can escape my third eye. <laughs> now I can escape my third eye. The three eyes being the naked eye, the celestial eye, and the eye of wisdom. With them, I can see down your down to your very spirit. I can see that you try to come forth, you who lurk within Kim and Kamui. Damn it! What's with all these thorns? I can't move! Get this off me! This ain't my kink! That's what you're playing at. Besides, these thorns really hurt! <laughs> Eisen had the right idea. We managed to trap him using my sacred artifact. Avoiding battle was also the best course of action. We wouldn't want to allow danger to befall others heading to the checkpoint. After all, whatever this wind commonly is planning seems to revolve around us. <laughs> Moritaka, Aizen, and Kagatsuchi will be able to report our status at the second checkpoint while we wait here. If you would please remain compliant, we would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> so when Kamui, was it? I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. So you want to chat, eh? Well, seeing as I won't be going anywhere anytime soon, ask away! <laughs> Let me get straight to the point. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Who do you think? Were you hiding inside Kim and Kamui? <laughs> maybe I was hiding. Or maybe I possessed him. Such a mystery. <laughs> Perhaps that would be so if what's on the surface is all there is. What do you mean? <laughs> Let me explain it in terms you might understand. I am the great heavenly messenger from the other world, Kamui Kotan. While Kimi and Kamui embrace the endeavors to spread blessings and foster personal growth, I endeavor the opposite. To maintain the present world order, I hunt down those who are attempting to experience growth. You avert people's personal growth? Hmm. You heard me! It is a frozen world, impervious to change, while surrounded by walls of ice. Those who make it to the end of their journey of personal growth always go on to needlessly change the world. That change results in nothing but the destruction of the world at present. That's why I have to hunt them down. With my hunter's blade, I cut away the skin, the fur, the clothes, at whatever layer of material I can obtain. With that material, I create a form which represents that person's past, whom I, whom I then have attacked the current self. There commences a battle between the past and future for the sake of personal growth, and I am to make here to make that happen. Hmm. Is this some kind of rite of passage in your world? Just by what you said, your system doesn't seem so menacing. Hmm. Yeah, totally. It's in the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what Arzalan said before our first departure. A sort of trial in which we're to challenge ourselves. A trial? A trial! <laughs> you humans can be so naive! 
Well, I enjoyed our little chat. I'm sad to say we're out of time. Ah, oh, crap. Ah! So tips, have they been hiding there this whole time? <laughs> They're everywhere at all times. Which I gotta say, it's thanks to you. <laughs> what you just say? We can worry about that later, Brit. <laughs> We're surrounded, but I'll lead us out of here. We can do this. Let's go. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You, a leader? Just look at you with all those squealing little monsters at your side. Do you even do what you say? <laughs> Being the nanny of some silly creatures does not make you a leader, you know. <sighs> say what? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Not that again. How dare you insult my devils like that! You'll regret you even opened your mouth! <laughs> Is that so? And just what can those little pipsqueaks even do? They wouldn't even survive a minute in the wild! Unlike these fearsome beasts under my command, survival of the fittest is the law of mother nature, and a foreboding look helps. Go on then. Challenge me to a fight. I'll show you. I'll show you just how strong these devils are. Oh, far by me. I'll have you understand the true viciousness of my kin. Let's do this like proper scouts. We'll show you our discipline and composure through drill commands. Um, I don't really like where this, is, where this conversation is going. No, I don't either. Calm down just a little, Shiro. I'm sorry, but I can't let him get away with insulting my devils! Oh boy. That's not good. Kimi <laughs> I have no control. I literally have no control. I'm just watching. Because apparently everybody's on their fear status. Or something. Oh, he's gonna get his hands on Shiro. Sir Mantemps even had to pull out their secret marching parade formation. Feelings mutual. Didn't think we'd have to do our friendship dance we've been practicing for Brandon. But... Maybe we can end this peacefully? What?! Oh, don't, oh, don't start this. Why does it keep doing this? Ever since that update. 
Uh, hold on. Uh, that whole error thing is happening a lot. Maybe we can end this peacefully? <laughs> it seems I was wrong about you. The bond between you and your familiars makes you a worthy opponent. You and your Sermantep share quite an impressive bond as well. Um, why? Um, this is awkward. No! Don't be it. Wait a second! They're trying to trick us into surrendering! Sermantet, no more of the flashy performances! Ah! Looks like we just riled them up even more. We've got no other choice. Prepare to attack! <laughs> Things have just gotten so amicable. They're used to fighting in the mountains. This terrain puts us at a disadvantage. Everyone, please be careful! Wind Gumley has disappeared! Did you hear that? He must be wary of cutting off his own... Cutting off... Cut... Cut... Eh! He must be wary of you cutting off... His hold on sermon attempts with your rule of rending. Stay at heart. Their keener senses, they have a clear advantage over us in this forest. We have to find a way to turn the tide of battle. No, I'm not his only target. He has a way to increase his numbers. That's right. If he's not targeting you, then... Look out! Ah, that was bad. Look out! <laughs> well, look what I've got here. If it's not a piece of your clothing, this will surely come in handy. Rise, my puppet! Don the aspect of the one who desires growth. I win Kamui in great by name unto thee! Dualistic fate! Oh, not again! Oh god, that image. I don't want anything to change. I just want to be by your side. I want nothing but to go on thinking of you and you alone. I don't want to lose this constant this connection between us. It scares me just to think of it. Don't you say another word! That's not me talking. Don't listen to a word he says. C cover your ears, Brent. Oh God. Now, okay. Now it's totally Persona Four. Devils, you two, cover your ears and eyes. I don't want you to be ex I don't want you exposed to that garbage. <laughs> garbage? What are you getting at? It's a genuine puppet of your very past self. I may cut clothes, but I don't cut cor- ah! Ah! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Did you just hit me with the corner of your book? That hurt! Did I, did, did I just lose myself there? Ahem, right. Everyone, be careful! <laughs> oh dear. Curses, we're outnumbered. Pull back with those devils bolstering from their forces. Devil, keep your distance and fight from afar. Go. They're relentless! The devils and I will block their escape. Please send the sermon tets from the sides to flank them. <laughs> this guy's a winner! Who could have expected I'd get such a good strategist? That's right. A strategist is a supporter to their team. And I was born to play a supporting role. Please, can that one just please stop talking? No! Ah! No! Ah! Cheryl, the server attempts to close again, and the demons are coming for us head on! Mm. 
I have to ask you something. If I were hypothetically speaking leader of the Summoner's Guild, do you think we'd be, be a better guild? <sighs> you would still be the same, Shiro. Whether a strategist or a leader, I see your efforts no differently. Hmm. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say something like that. I must have been rushing to prove myself a strong leader. I was demanding something of myself that I didn't have. I don't believe acting out a role is such a bad thing. But perhaps I've been overdoing it. I was so concerned with appearing like a leader that I was ignoring my actual talents. Everyone, let's go on the offensive! When I give you the signal, I want you to do as I say! My precious devils, I'm counting on you too! <laughs> hmm. It's gone quiet. What should we do, my strategies? Should we advance now? No, they will come to us. I'll take the su I'll take up a supporting position. Devils, cover us so we can charge in. この指示は任せてくれよ。やつ。やれやれ。これだ。行こう。大丈夫ですか。勤務いてやるぜ。これくらいで。そう。そう。He's advanced. これくらいで。ステップ。ただ勝負が行かない。そう。ステップ。ただ勝負が行かない。そう。そう。I'm going in. Or, I w wish I was. Kekakuni
Oh, come on, again? It keeps doing this crap. Should be a bit. I don't know what's wrong. Ever since that update, everything's been kind of just go been playing wonky. Like it'll, I'll just get the error. I'll just get that error message, and it never re recovers. Their devil attacks are nothing more than an aversion. Brace for the brunt of their assault, Wind Conley. Wind Conley! You call that a surprise attack? <laughs> then let me guess what comes next. With these thorns, I will save you from your suffering. I, Maria, engrave my name onto thee. Thorns are Golgotha! Hmm. How? Hmm. That only leaves my future son. If I can just bring down his devils, give him cover. What's going on here? What is the me what is this meant to accomplish? Ah! I embrace to have ever been you. I'm embarrassed to have ever been you. I no longer need to waste my time brooding over whether I'm a leader or a supporter. I was a prisoner to my own words. No, a prisoner to my role. I would and can do anything for you. That is what I want to do. What the? What are you talking about? This is so not me. Exactly. I've changed. I'm not the same person I was back then. Alone? At the library after school? I'm not sure if I can consider that change to be personal growth. But it's certain that I'm a different person now. I can now see clearly who I was in the past and what exactly has changed. When you look at the world with a new perspective, it can seem as though the whole universe has expanded for you. Engrave my name unto the hand manifest thy might! COSMIC TERROR! And so your... So, your world broadens. Faster than your fears can make chase. <clears throat> well played. I look forward to our next encounter. Kim and Kamui. He has an odd look on his face. Disappointment? No, that looks... I demand an explanation! How did every single one of you come to be so covered in sweat and dirt? EXPLAIN YOURSELVES NOW! What? You fell and tumbled through the mud after an app battle? This calls for a hot bath time! Scrub that sweat and dirt off your filthy bodies! <sighs> Alright. Huh. There's no 
nothing like a hot bath to relax the muscles. I can feel the stress from today's battle gradually drifting away. We must thank Aizen for having the tub prepared. Shiro. <laughs> hey, hey, the hot tub's not a playground. You can bring one toy and one toy only. Be considerate to the, of the others. <laughs> Let them have their fun. They're not going to bother anyone. <sighs> they worked hard today. They deserve this. Still, it troubles me to, to have not one memory of my recent transformation. Do you really not remember anything that happened? Not a single thing, and it grinds my gears. It's, a, it's my own body, yet I have no agency over it. Don't beat yourself up over up over. Ah, don't beat yourself up about it. We'll figure something out. You can count on us. Such reassuring words. My faith in you continues to grow stronger, Brandon. Just as Shiro just as Shiro achieved personal growth through defeating his past self, I see you yourself are growing as we speak. I feel nothing but joy to see all of you learn and grow. But there still lies a mystery that cannot go unsolved. Where did that wind calmly come from? And why do I transform? It seems I have no clue just what is going on with me. We have a staff meeting to attend soon. We should start getting ready to go. Right, I'm coming. The rest of you should take your time and enjoy this bath. I guess that's just... I guess it's just us now. Uh, I don't mean that in a bad way or anything. Um, you know, I want to thank you for earlier. Though you might have seen and heard some really embarrassing things. My feelings are a little complex. So, um... What do I want to say? I want you to... Uh, uh, I hope that you'll continue to think of us as as friends yeah as friends mm. Brandon mm. if Aizen wasn't here <laughs> Did you think you could sneak behind my back and get away with it, Shiro? Did you think I wouldn't notice that hot and steamy interaction overheating the pool back there? I shall take note of this to benefit my vision here as, tra as a transfer student. <laughs> see, I, see, I didn't do anything. I just held, I just touched his hand. That's all. Hmm? Oh, wait, I'm the only one with a sword, right? Well, I mean, there's Kimikami, but uh, oh crap, I hope that wasn't my sword. 